Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to get the perfect white balance using a gray card in Sony cameras. Now, if you're using lights that you can control the Kelvin temperature, then you can easily set your white balance to match that so you can get the perfect white balance. Now, if you don't have control over the lights and you're in an environment or in an area where you have lights that you cannot control, you cannot change the color temperature on, then you will need to do your own white balance. Now, Sony cameras do a really good job with auto white balance. However, it's not perfect. And sometimes you can have your white balance shift as different people get in the shot or things change with the color of apparel. Sometimes you have these little factors that make a difference. So if you wanna have a constant white balance that's accurate, that looks right, especially when it comes to skin tones, then using a gray card is the best way to do it. It's actually really simple. Quick note, when it comes to setting your custom white balance, you have to do this when you're not recording. If you're doing any recording, the option is gonna be grayed out. So now I'm not recording, we're gonna go into our white balance. Different cameras will have different buttons for the Sony a7S III, it's C1. Once you're in white balance, go down past C temp filter and you'll see custom white balance one, two, three, et cetera. We're gonna do one and then move to the right so that the set button is highlighted. So now click on set and you should get a box that you can move around and you're gonna wanna put that over the gray card. You wanna make sure the gray card is facing the lens because that's what the camera is seeing. And then from there, go ahead and press the button in and it'll actually give you the white balance according to this gray card, which is gonna give you very natural, neutral colors and everything should be ideal. So according to the gray card, 5500 is this lighting setup here. Even though this light I purchased is set to 5600 Kelvin, sometimes they're not perfect there's a little wiggle room there, especially depending on where you place the light. It can also have a little factor. So right now we know that we for sure got the best possible white balance using that gray card. So there you guys have it. That's how simple it is to set your custom white balance. Now, again, this is pretty much useful when you are not in control of your lights and you're trying to get the most accurate white balance. But if you have control over your lights, you might not need to do this much. Now on this channel, we have multiple playlists, one for lighting, one for Sony cameras, and many other playlists. So if you guys wanna check out more tutorials, go ahead and check those out. Now, if you're interested in any of the gear that I use, I do have links in the description where you can purchase them. It doesn't change the price you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.